Welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. On today's episode, we will have Chandelure versus Chandelure. Um, I will be playing with the Fire Chandelure, as you see me mulligan here, and my opponent will be playing with the Psychic Chandelure. So, uh, should be an interesting matchup here. So, looks like I will get to start with a Call for Family Litwick, and my opponent also gets a Basic. And we await for the flip. And my opponent is going to get to draw an extra card. And as we see here, I now get the lovely glow that goes back and forth um, when it is my turn. Don't really know why that's here now and it wasn't before. Uh, I have no idea. So I've got a level ball in my hand and a fire. So what I'm actually going to do here is just go ahead and call for family and get my Vulpix. And then on the next turn, I'll level ball into Ninetales. And that is my draw engine. So... No risk of being donked here facing his Litwick Regigigas, so I'm not really that concerned. I was surprised to see a Regigigas uh, in my opponent's deck, if I'm honest. Uh, not quite sure I get it. We'll see how that plays into the match later. And he has the traditional Litwick of, I believe for a double colorless, it burns me. Looks like it burns me and does 20 damage. Let's take a look. So flip a coin, ah there we go. So 20 damage and then a flip for burn for a potential 40 damage on the first turn. And there's the double colorless. <clears throat> so my Andy gets ahead, so, and I get a tails. So my Litwick is actually already at 40 damage. So now I will level ball. I will see here that I have two nine tails and I will go ahead and Roast Reveal. So, a relatively strong Roast. And if I had a rare candy, I could go into Chandelure, but I don't. And let's see what I do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a Rescue on my Litwick. I'm going to go ahead and oak for a fresh hand of six. Get the rare candy, Vulpix, and a Chandelure. So a relatively strong oak. I'm going to go ahead and candy into Chandelure. And I'm not going to play my Burn Tower yet, but it does have some nice synergy with Nine Tails. So here I accidentally Inferno and... <laughs> Waste two turns of energy attachment, and uh, that was actually a mistake. I meant to flame burst and spread damage, so not what I wanted to do, but we'll see as well if that plays into the match at all. But definitely not what I wanted to do there. Uh, I lost that rescue energy, which I only play two of, and that's my only form of recovery. Uh, actually, there may be a super rod in here, but still, I wanted to save that. Um, whatever that move is, I've already forgotten. I wanted to save that. Uh, I want to spread, and then when I need to, do the 80 plus burn. So, not what I wanted to do. But at least, I guess, I'm going to slow him down and get rid of one of his Litwicks. So, he's going to candy into a Chandelure. And uh, his ability is going to be able to drop three damage counters. And then if he can somehow switch, he can drop some more. Whereas I'm just going to go ahead and flame burst and just do attack damage. So he's going to catch her my nine tails. I assume he wants to stall for a turn or two. And we both are going to have that uh, luxury of being able to catch her something and then attack around it. Which is why these two cards are actually pretty cool. So he's going to put the three damage counters on my Chandelure, bringing it up to, let's see, down to 50 hit points. I'm going to go ahead and Roast Reveal, get three fresh cards. And drop a Litwick. Not much to think about here. I am kind of stuck. If I hadn't wasted those two energies, I could just retreat nine tails and spread some more. But that's the mistake I made, and now I'm paying for it. So all I can do on this turn is pass. 
because of that mistake on the second turn. And now it's his turn. So he's going to lay down the Dudubo. So he's going to start moving here. And I'm starting to notice when I'm actually playing this game that he seems to be... Uh, he only has three cards. And uh, I'm going to use that to my advantage because I know he's stuck. I can't imagine him having that many things in his hand. He didn't Oak. He didn't N. He didn't Juniper. He, he appears to be stuck. <clears throat> so I'm thinking here what I want to do with that one energy I have. So I'm going to go ahead and I assume get a second nine tails so that I can really start burning through my deck here. So now I have two nine tails and the potential to draw through a lot of cards and get moving here. So this is excellent. I'm going to be able to Sharon, Charon, I can target his Regigigas and get that stuck in the active. So things are looking good here. So I do get another energy for another Roast Reveal. I get the energy retrieval to get some of that Roast Revealed energy back. So as we can see here, I believe I just drew nine cards, two Roast Reveals and a Charon, which is pretty strong. Not only that, I finally draw into another... I draw into a rare candy and a chandelier so that I don't have to attack with my benched one. And at this point, I still am not going to drop that burn tower. Um, I'm still doing all right with my energy attachments. And I'm going to go ahead and grab another Litwick to try and keep the stage two attackers flowing. So now I'm in good shape. I can go ahead and retreat and then start spreading damage again with Flame Burst. And that looks like exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll put 30 on the Gigas and start ta uh, working on that Doduo and the Chandelure to put everything into either V Crate Victini range or <clears throat> the Inferno move. 80 plus burn. So my opponent is going to play an Elms, which is his supporter for the turn, which is great for me. We'll see if he has a switch here. He gets ahead on his scoop up, which is mildly annoying, because not only does that take the damage off the Gigas, it gets it out of the active. And if he drops a Dodrio, he's going to be able to drop six damage counters wherever he would like. So it looks like he's going to target my Chandelure. So if he has the switch, he'll be able to finish that thing off. He lays down his Gigas again. Does have the switch, but now he's down to one card. And this is on my mind the entire time. So it does look like he had a strong hand of three but not strong enough so he's gonna start <clears throat> targeting my litwick but i do have another candy chandelier he will take his first prize and we are at five five there we go with that prize he does get the dodrio so he had a pretty productive turn with a, a fairly limited hand And I assume here he's going to go ahead and... Huh. I don't actually remember that happening during the game, and I don't know why he did that. He put his Gigas up front. And I don't quite agree with that. So anyway, that's here nor there. I'm going to go ahead. Roast reveal. Looks like I have five fire in the discard. Which means now it might be a good time to lay down the burn tower. So I am all set. I've got two attackers and my draw engine. I know he doesn't have any cards that are going to be able to one-shot me. So I roast reveal. Very strong roast reveal. And um, I'm definitely getting my energy out. At this point, it looks like I'm going to charge up my Victini. So that I can flame burst a couple of times and then take down the Gigas for two prizes. 
So we'll see what he does here. So I get my last Litwick, start setting up my third Chandelure. And I go ahead and Flame Burst. So obviously put 30 on the Dodrio and continue to do work on his Chandelure. Didn't really need to put it on that Chandelure. It has 130 HP. That means my Victini is going to have no problems taking that down with my full bench here. He gets another heads on his Gigas, which is incredibly annoying, but now he has no hand. So he's going to be able to drop six damage counters, which I assume is either going to target my Victini or there we go. So we see he's going to go after my Litwick to prevent me from getting a third Chandelure going. He's going to use Dodrio to free retreat. And he's going to get a prize. And for his sake, I hope it... I hope it's a draw supporter. Because he's actually been fairly productive with no hand. Um, but his luck is going to run out so I'm just looking through here what I have in my discard a lot of fire and he finishes off my Litwick and then starts attacking the active so <clears throat> both of us with our two very different chandelure decks I should take a note here I as long as I don't forget in the comments section below um, I will have a link to the deck list, um, which is actually on six prizes. I haven't made any changes yet, but uh, it's a fun deck. And you can... It's not that hard to get the cards. There's nothing super rare in here. The Nine Tails are probably the hardest thing to get. Uh, at Walmart, they do have um, a blister pack that comes with a pack of emerging powers and then a 1-2 chain of Nine Tails that comes with a code card so you can actually obtain the cards in real life and online for about five bucks, which is a pretty good deal. So here we see I dropped the burn tower. And my luck, those head flips will go my way now. My deck is thinning out. I do get Victini ready here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and flame burst. Back to those uh, Blister Nine Tails, they actually have a misprint. Instead of the Heart Gold So Silver logo, it's got the Undaunted logo on the Vulpix as well. So it's a misprint, but it's pretty sweet. So I'm going to take out his Dodrio here, and I'm going to do work on his Litwick, because I know everything else in his field is in prime range of my V-Create Victini. Or my Flame Burst, not Flame Burst, Inferno. So no reason to keep spreading. I'll just pick new targets here. So he's actually going to get a Tails here on his Burn Tower. The prize lead is uh, tied, but I, I do believe I have much better board position. Just checking his Eerie Glow to see if it paralyzes me, but it looks like it burns and confuses, which means I can retreat out of it fairly easily. I get another Heads on my Burn Tower, 13 cards in my deck, 4 prizes to go. I'm going to start charging up my other Chandelure. And at this point, I don't have a strong reason to Roast Reveal anymore. I've got plenty of ends, so when my deck gets low enough, I can just end everything back into my deck. But for now, as long as I don't get end, I'm just going to try and get the fire energy uh, out of my discard. So I put 30 on his Gigas, and here I want to say, there we go the right move, which is putting it on the undamaged Chandelure. So I'm just going to continue to spread, take a prize, uh, EXP share, which is broken, so I probably should take that out of this deck, but whatever. So he gets a heads, gets to take an energy out of his discard, and his Gigas, if, unless he plays with another super scoop up, is, is stuck. Looks like he's going to thin his deck with an Elms. Going to get a Lampet. And it's my turn. So 
I'm in the driver's seat here. I don't really see any way I can lose. His hand continues to be very, very low. I don't know if that's luck or bad deck building. So Gigas is only at 60, so I can't V-create him yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get this EXP share out of my hand onto the Victini. And I'm just gonna flame burst again. Probably should have burned tower there, no reason not to. So now his Gigas is in perfect range for a V create. I will need another basic, however. So he gets another Litwick. We know he has a Lampet in his hand, and I don't know what... Well, now we know exactly what's in his hand. So it is my turn. <clears throat> I go ahead and charge up the Chandelure. And I could Roast Reveal to try and get a basic. I should have a Vulpix hiding in my deck somewhere. Fail on the burn tower, and there we go. So now I can Inferno for two prizes. Five, nine. So if he flips on a burn, it will be knocked out. And let's see what I decide to do here. Continue to spread or go for prizes. So his chandelure is primed here for Eerie Glow. And it looks like I'm going to go ahead in Flame Burst and just take my time spreading damage. So, two card hand, I expect him to lay down a Lampet. And again, he's kind of stuck. I've got four ends and I can't use any of them. Ah! but he ends me. But as we saw there, I have a ton of supporters and fire energy. So yeah, here, no problems working my way out of that end. So I can finally V-create that Gigas. I did draw into that Vulpix to fill up my bench. He whiffs on his great ball. I don't really feel it's that strong of a card. Especially with most decks now running 10 or less Pokemon, it's really a bad card, but he's gonna go ahead and switch. I assume he's gonna <clears throat> spread three damage counters and then uh, Eerie Glow me. And I still, that Giga still eludes me. So I've wasted a lot of resources putting damage on that Gigas, and I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. So he's targeting my active Chandelure. But I think he's going to come up short with actually knocking it out. I think it all is going to depend on the burn flip. So he actually just undid all of that. So let's see. He's going to switch. What is he going to do? All right. So he undid a few moves. Probably could have edited this out of the video. And for that, I apologize. But alrighty. So he's going to try it again. He's going to switch. I think he must have realized that. I don't know. Switches back into Chandelure. I think he realized he could have wasted a Cursed Shadow, Cursed Drop, whatever it is. There we go. Puts 10 on my benched Chandelure. Ah, he's just going to attack the benched one. Interesting. So, I get lucky on my flip. <clears throat> Man, 80 damage. 
So go ahead and drop the Vulpix. And at this point, I'm going to retreat. And I'm fairly confident that my 70 HP Victini is going to be able to survive more than one turn. So he'll be able to take two prizes. And uh, <clears throat> it really doesn't matter what those two prizes are because he's not going to be able to build another Chandelure with whatever is in his hand. So I'm going to go ahead and V-create. <clears throat> 100 damage to the active. Two prizes to go. And uh, i got to say I'm in much better shape than my opponent here. So at this point, yeah, <clears throat> everything is within... Everything is uh, within little Victinis here. Damage limit of 100 thanks to all that spreading. And my opponent go ahead and concedes and uh, we take down the Psychic Chandelure with the Fire Chandelure. I hope you enjoyed.